Hello and welcome back everyone to anubautrainings.com. In the last episode of this series on SAP Build Apps, we have discussed about how to understand the build apps, the architecture for build apps in a short, and also we discussed about setting up our SAP BTP trial account with Build Apps subscription. If you like my work, please do like, share, and subscribe the channel, and also share the link of this video series in the WhatsApp group of your company, so other colleagues can also take an advantage. With that, let's get started today's session. And today we will discuss about how to create your first Hello World application using SAP Build Apps with complete drag and drop and no coding. So let's get started to the system where we ended our last episode. So let's try now to create my Hello World project. I say hello world. My life's first build app project. Click on create. And Vahala, it gets created. And you see a, another tab is going to open here where I can now design my application. So let's try and understand the different components of the build apps solution. So as a developer, you should be easily able to develop your application so first of all it starts with this drop down which shows all the pages so as i mentioned all the pages are nothing but your screens which you are going to design so right now if you say show all pages you can see there is one authentication page which is already added by default and there is a home page which is the front page of the screen and then there is something called global canvas this global canvas will never be visible to the user but it's actually the frame which remains in the background of any application so this is where you can add new pages now if you compare the pages with the ui5 they are like your views so if you work with ui5 since many of you developers are joining this course after completing my ui5 training i would also give a quick comparison so these are your mainly screens the views and we call them as pages so you can add new page also over here now i go back to user interface i can change to any page to which i want to navigate and start building home page is the default page always then there is a uh, page of course which was related to authentication which always be there uh, by default to allow user to authenticate now here comes on the left side the components the ui elements where you can see there are three major section core by me and installed in the core you will see the simple ui elements like button container title text images input field sliders and all that stuff whereas in the installed you can actually go to the marketplace and install any component for example if my manager asked me to add a google map on my on my application then i can go to marketplace and look forward for a map component which is not part of the core components so core components if you use them they are inbuilt they are by default make your application run very fast but if you want to build a bit more advanced application you want to use bit more advanced controls which are not part of it then you have to download them from a marketplace it's free but they will make your application run little slow so on the left you see all the controls i will also show you quickly go to marketplace and look forward for components you can see there are a lot of components to choose so i can search for map and then i can find map uh, embedded map view google map geocoding and these map controls so you can see components flow functions a lot of these options you have so i will probably use this extended map view and you can see uh, when this component was published how many versions does exist yes when it was updated yes all these details about this component you can find it's free you can install them i install and i get this map component so i drag and drop this component as i mentioned it's fully drag and drop capability don't show me this survey and i can see a map component has been added beautiful superb now i can just want to build a hello hello world application so every application page has a headline and the title so i will remove this title and just keep the header title 
and I say hello world welcome to Anubhav trainings and that's my application superb so in no time you can see with simple drag and drop without writing any coding we were able to create our simple hello world mobile application you can see the uh, canvas on the left uh, see the canvas in the middle and the controls on the left then on the top you see user interface so let me talk about these components user interface helps you to design and develop your screens with standard ui components or ui components which are installed from marketplace then you have the variables tab so often any application contains a lot of data and this data is flowing through the application while application is running so basically during the runtime so where is that data is stored that data is stored in variables there are broadly five category of variables as you can see here on the left application variables so you can see it also provide description here on the build apps so someone who don't read the documentation can still come directly and read this documentation which is readily available so variables are used to store and access dynamic data during the application runtime they can hold any kind of data example current login user text input from a screen loading state of the page data records fetch from a backend service all that is stored in a in a variable so application variable they exist globally in context of whole application so if you would want to share the data between multiple pages you will use application variable they are initialized when the application start when the whole application start for the first time they are initialized and exist until the application is shut down they should be used for things uh, that are accessed from many locations many pages like in in sap ui5 you have something called global models we create global model in manifest right default model it's like that so such as currently login user settings or data shared between the pages then we have page variables a page variable is basically a variable which exists in the context of only current page they are initialized when the page opens and remove when the application state page is closed they should be used for the things which exist in the context of only current page and you can choose the page from the top such as data which is required only by current page now you can compare this with the, like a local model at a view level yeah then we will also discuss page parameters data variables and translation variables in the future then comes is integration in the integration tab as i mentioned you can communicate to third party apis and sap systems so if you would want to load data from any external system in your app or you want to interact with any third party system you will use integration tab we will also see this in unit number 5 6 and 7 then comes is other things like navigation capability so every mobile application will also get a simple uh, navigation panel at the bottom so you can configure that with the help of built-in navigation i will teach that everything in the detail in coming classes then we have authentication where you can add how when user your access your app how will they be authenticated so that is this authentication uh, tab so you we will also learn different authentication mechanisms as part of our training so by default right now it is sap btp authentication with our custom identity provider which was added uh, in the last class so then next comes is theme in the theme section you can design and develop color scheme of your application how the look and feel of your application would look like so in our training i will teach you using standard themes or designing your own theme at runtime yeah then finally you have the help documentation which takes you to all the different different documentation links about build apps so this is my source of learning so anubo when i was learning sap build apps i actually use this documentation and also sap community blogs to learn sap build apps myself so this is where you know my source of learning as well belongs to so you can always go back to the help documentation and go through that then you also have the undo and redo capabilities if you added some element or want to remove it or control set all that is there then you also have the history 
so every time you you make a change and publish or save your app you can track the history like a version management so this is typically done using git in ui5 but here you don't have any coding or anything you can always track the version here you can also see the view of your application as if how it looked like in a mobile tablet or full screen basically laptops so you can switch to mobile view and this is how the app will look like in a mobile phone so that you can see then you can change the page properties since i'm highlighting the page you can see here the page properties with the page description so this is my landing page for entire app yeah and that is how it looked like now maybe i want to make it a little bit more interesting by adding a donald duck image so let's drag and drop the image and i go to google to search for donald duck image yes ah nice so i can now use donald duck image copy image address come back it's all fully drag and drop no coding guys enter and that's my donald duck and now i can reduce the size of the image so i can come into image layout properties width and height and then i can you can see i have different options to choose yeah so i can say fix size content and then i can also decide the position in the center wow so that is how i can design a simple hello world application i am now happy with this application and i save it so this application is now saved and i can preview it directly yeah it is not yet deployed in the cloud we will learn deployment in the later stages of our training yeah so that our end user can also access it yes from the build work zone perhaps but right now we are happy with this application which is ready so i would like to now preview this application in my mobile device actual mobile device so for that sap give this option called preview let's click on that and now i would like to preview my application so you see it says if you want to preview application in the device or you want to preview in the web so let's do the web preview first so i click on preview on the web and you see this is my hello world app open and this is how it look like to the end user beautiful so that is our uh, that is our application what we have got here over here there's a map component since i have not given the coordinates it's not locating anything but we can see hello world with my donald duck image so that's more of a web preview for the app now i want to do mobile preview now to demonstrate this mobile preview what you need to do,